Former President Trump's adult sons taking the stand in a New York courtroom today to testify in the civil fraud trial, pitting their family and the Trump Organization against New York Attorney General Letitia James. Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, the first of four Trump family members to weigh in under oath on alleged fraud committed over a period of years. Ivanka Trump and the former president himself expected to testify next week. Correspondent Jerry Clark left for us outside the courthouse in Manhattan. Dre, what is the latest happening there? Well, Nicole, uh, Donald Trump Jr. left the courthouse here in Lower Manhattan a little while ago after testifying for almost another two hours uh, today. Uh, the New York State Attorney General was trying to demonstrate that Don Jr. was appointed trustee of his father's trust, and because he held that position, he had the final say so on any major financial decisions. Uh, that were made when it came to the Trump Organization uh, and its real estate business. Uh, but Don Jr. said any decisions that he made, he used information that was provided to him by the accountant and former uh, company CFO Alan Weisselberg. He said he did not have a direct hand uh, in any of those financial decisions here. Uh, meanwhile, again here, Don Jr. saying that he believes this entire trial is nothing more than a sham and a witch hunt. He says the banks are not claiming to be victims. The banks are not claiming they were duped. Uh, it's the attorney general who is implying and saying that they have committed acts of fraud uh, by not disclosing certain uh, financial information. Uh, following uh, his testimony inside the courtroom, uh, Donald Trump did, Donald Trump uh, Jr., that is, uh, did speak to the cameras again to sort of uh, give his sense to why he believes this whole trial is much to do about nothing. Take a listen. I think it went uh, really well if we were actually dealing with logic and reason uh, the way business is conducted. But unfortunately, the attorney general has brought forth a case that is purely a political persecution. I guess in the uh, attempt to get Trump, the attorney general can go ahead and try to, I guess, make more millions for the biggest banking institutions in the world who have already made millions. Now, Eric Trump, uh, Donald Jr.'s uh, brother, has now taken the stand. We're now in a lunch break. Uh, but in the short time that he was on the stand this morning, lots of questions uh, about evaluations and what role did Eric Trump play uh, in property evaluations here. Uh, Eric Trump saying that he didn't really play much of a role in those property evaluations. Also, a lot of questions about statement of financial condition. I want to give a quote here that uh, Eric said on the stand today when it came to that question of financial condition. He said, I never had anything to do with the statement of financial condition. People ask me questions all the time, but I never worked on the statement of financial condition. Again, the AG is trying to establish that the Trump brothers uh, had a direct role in some of this false and misleading information uh, that banks use uh, to provide loans and insurance premiums uh, to Donald Trump. Now, the judge has already determined that he believes that Mr. Trump uh, and his two sons lied about Mr. Trump's net worth and inflated the value of some of their properties uh, to get multi-million dollar loans and better insurance premiums. The attorney general is asking the judge to make them pay a $250 million fine and bar them uh, from conducting business here uh, in the state of New York. Up next to testify after Eric Trump will be his father, uh, the former president. He's scheduled to testify on Monday and then following Mr. Trump, Ivanka Trump will testify on November 8th. Uh, she is no longer named as a defendant uh, in this case. She was dismissed from the case in June, but because of her uh, experience working in the company, the attorney general uh, would like to ask her some questions. Meanwhile, the former president, uh, not here yesterday, not here today, uh, but again, even from afar, calling this entire situation a disgrace to the legal system. Nicole? All right, Dre Clark, live in Manhattan. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.